Hey there, and welcome to another video with me. In this video, I'm going to show you how to merge two documents on Canva. So basically, let's say you design two ebooks, two different ebooks, right? Canva, and you want to copy some pages of one ebook to another ebook. So I'll show you how to do that using Canva. Um, before I found this, I, I thought it wasn't possible to do it, but until I had to really do a lot of research to find out um, how to make it possible. So stay tuned, I'll walk you from my PC on how to do that. Okay guys, here we are on my PC right now. So first thing first, log into your Canva account. If you don't yet have Canva, I'll leave a link of Canva in the description down below so you can access it. Uh, by the way, I am an affiliate with Canva. So if you decide to use Canva for work or Canva Pro, I'll get a bit of commission. There's two ways to merge documents. The first way is the most effective way. The second way is a bit uh, funny, right? Why is funny? Because you have to do a little bit of adjustment. So I will show you both ways. So uh, click here on all your design and all your design, you will just select the design that you've already done. Or if you want to design something from scratch, you can go ahead and design something from, from scratch and merge it, right? I'm going to select my design. This is the example. So what I need to do now, I need to go here to all of my designs, right? And just click here on all the design again. Uh, and I need to uh, look at the design that I want to merge. So in this case, let's say I want to merge uh, some copies of the ultimate guide to copywriting, right? So this is another ebook that I designed. I'll just click on that. Uh, what I will need to do here, I'll need to add some pages, right? So let me just add a few pages. And now I will come here to this specific presentation. You know, I will just copy what I need to merge here. So in this case, let's just say I want to merge this one. I'll just click, click there and just click here. So you, so you can see, you know, I have suddenly moved this specific part of the presentation, right? So I'll do the same. If I want to move this page here, let's say I want to move the first part here. I can move it here as, you know, you know, you can see, you know, it's not well organized, but this is just an example to show you if you want to move it, you can move, you know. Um, if I want to move this bit as well, I can move. So you can see I've moved that bit, right? So more customer with quality words, you know. So, um, so guys, this is the first way of doing it, right? Um, I'm going to show you the second way right now. The second way is you're going to open the same ebook again and you're going to add more pages so i'm going to add okay let's just say i want to copy this specific page here right so what i'm going to do is i'm so i'm just going to add new pages here as you can see i've added new pages here um and, and i'm just going to head back here and i will just highlight it i just start highlighting it from the outside right i've highlight this specific area right and i just click here on copy so i'll copy and come back here and paste it right so i have pasted it. you know this is how it looks but there's one thing missing you can spot the difference straight away right so you can see that this ebook this specific background is not available up here this it's not available here, right? So what you're gonna do, you're going to add the background. So that's a little bit of a downside of copying this way, right? The best way to do it, you know, is to actually go through the first way, the first way I've shown you, that's the best way. You can just copy and paste. But I don't know if you, if you have to have Canva for work, you need to double check, I'm not sure. So let's just say, I wanna add a background here, I'll just, come up here and add a background, right? So I've added a background. Let's just go back and look. Okay, awesome. I've added a background. It looks better. So now it looks better. You know, it's just the same now. So uh, the second way is also great. Um, so that's the second way of doing that. So that was all about how to merge documents. 
Okay, guys, that was all about how to merge documents on Canva. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty simple. It's very straightforward. Um, you know, it's not difficult, right? So if you do have any questions, drop it in the comment section down below. I'll be more than ready to answer. So guys, thank you for watching this content. Um, you know, if you've managed to do it successfully, please type document in the comment section down below. I want you to engage. I want you to ask me questions. Don't forget to uh, like, share this content on social media, share it on WhatsApp with your mates, you know, with people who might need it. There's a lot of people out there who think this is not possible on Canva, but I've just shown you that this is possible. So um, guys, there's a lot more content I have on Canva on my YouTube channel. So make sure you also check those content. So take care and I'll see you next time.